What is coffee? I mean, it's like there's so many different ways to brew coffee. But at the end of the day, when we brew coffee, all we're really doing is adding coffee beans to water. So the question is, does it make a difference which brewing method you use? Like what if I took an existing brewing method like the French press, which, you know, is essentially a glass container with a plunger that separates the grounds from the water. And what if I took a mason jar and used a paper coffee filter to separate the grounds from the water? Would it make that much of a difference? Let's go brew some coffee. All right, guys, we're gonna brew up this French press. We got 21 grams of coffee, got a four minute long brew time and 350 grams of water. Keep in mind, this is a time lapse. Once the French press is finished, I'm gonna immediately start brewing the mason jar coffee and I'm gonna use all the same measurements of coffee and water and all that. And we're gonna see if there's any major differences between the two. I suppose I could have brewed the French press and the mason jar at the same time. I didn't really think about it. Not sure if that'll make a difference or not. Anyways, French press is done. Now on to the mason jar. Like I said before, I use all the same measurements of water and coffee and brew time for this mason jar coffee. Now, here's something that's a little bit interesting, as you'll see here. When I went to pour, the coffee poured out in this tiny little trickle. I mean, I guess I don't know what I was expecting. I just thought it would come out a little bit faster than this. It was so slow that I had to grab oven mitts because holding the mason jar was just too hot. I know, I'm a wimp. But uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about this slow pour later because I think it affected the brew. And just for the fun of it, I decided to do a third brew where I didn't measure anything. I just eyeballed everything. Uh, I was just curious just to see like, you know, it was sort of a control thing with the experiment just to see like if there would be any noticeable differences with that. And so, I mean, I didn't even time it. I just kind of like guessed. Still had the same slow pour, but uh, the way this coffee tasted was uh, pretty interesting. So we're going to talk about that now. Okay guys, so for this experiment, I brewed Starbucks Veranda Blend. It's what I had on hand. And honestly, I really like Starbucks Veranda Blend. It's a really nice, mildly acidic light roast. And I brew it all the time in a Chemex and a V60. Now, I gotta say, brewing it in a French press like blew me away because the French press brought out a lot more acidity and brightness and liveliness in the Veranda Blend than I've ever had before. So that's kind of surprising. What also surprised me was how bad the coffee tasted that I brewed in the mason jar. I mean, it wasn't bright or acidic at all. In fact, it was very bitter and dark and earthy. All the parameters were the same. I had the same amount of coffee, the same amount of water. The brew times were exactly the same. And yet the coffees tasted night and day different. I actually did a third brew with the mason jar, but this time I just winged it. Like I didn't measure anything out. But here's the crazy thing, guys. The coffee that I brewed in the mason jar where I didn't measure anything tasted way better than in the mason jar where I did measure everything. So what's up with that? So what I think happened was that even though I tried to stop the brew time by pouring this coffee right at the four minutes, mark this filter was so restrictive it was just a tiny trickle pouring out and so just because of the slow pour the coffee just got over extracted and i think that's where all the bitter flavors came from so when i brewed the mason jar the second time where i didn't measure anything i probably started pouring this sooner like maybe two or three minutes and so even though the coffee was still extracting while i was pouring i was still within that sweet spot three to four minute window and so that's why i think that coffee ended up tasting so much better so, I mean, if you're in a pinch, you're traveling or camping and you just don't have access to something like a French press, I mean, if you could pull together a mason jar and a coffee filter, I mean, you could get by by brewing with this. I would just say, be sure to keep your extraction time short and uh, make sure to find some oven mitts because uh, this gets real hot. 